The Gurids achieved greatness, with the Empire being a true powerhouse. But in 867, Suri Gurid finds himself involved in the Iranian intermezzo as the only Buddhist ruler. Our goal? Claim what his family would, and most importantly, survive. So welcome to what will hopefully be quite a long series on the Snap Snap channel. Of course, this should be hopefully daily that is the goal anyway the last one we did was daily but this one is gonna be a lot tougher if we go to achievements we can see rise of the gurids starting as the duke of gurin 867 or 1066 conquer the region of the historical gurid empire and if we click it we can see the region all the way down to here back up around and most of the safrids and taharid empires or kingdoms but that is not just what we're going to do it's not going to just going to be conquering land every day slowly going towards it we're just going to play a little bit slower and just see what happens along the way now for mods which i do want to mention in total we have 13 i will add probably more along the way as more get updated but the three i want to talk about we have historic invasions this just makes it so like historical characters will spawn get some armies and try and conquer their land could make things a little bit interesting we also of course have rice that just adds a bunch of flavor events and everything across the entire map and finally cities of wonder three so that will allow us to say when we have our capital established upgrade it so if we come over here to the byzantine empire we can see their castle level 5 a burge and it can be upgraded further and further so over time you can make your capitals really really powerful so can maybe build something quite special over time but we are getting ahead of ourselves for now as you can see we start as suri gured we're just 24 we have no children our dynasty only has two living members us and our vassal so this is going to be really tough as everybody else involved in the struggle their faith basically all consider us evil uh so it's going to be tough we may just get overthrown really quick so we've got to be careful with what we do now for our faith we have medicant preachers asceticism and dharmic pacifism which is not good as that stops us to clear in holy wars which is not going to be very helpful but maybe as well, we could claim all our holy sites. We don't just have to get the historical Gurid Empire. We can do a lot more. So any like suggestions of little goals you want to see me do along the way, please let me know in the comments. I do read them all. So starting out, we need to think of a first smaller goal, right? Can't just rush straight to an empire. We've got to think about what we need to do. Now, de jure, we are part of their kingdom, which is not good because he could come for us and he hates us. Now, we are a detractor of the caliphate and he is a supporter so what we could do maybe at some point or even now if we wanted to we could just request incursions on him and try and massively weaken him that way just so he's not a threat to us that could be something we do but starting out we're craven patient and diligent and a thrifty clerk not looking so good what we need to do is find like a powerful ally who's quite close and kind of makes sense because what i like to do with these I like to get allies that are like similar in power and really close. I don't like to like get ones that make zero sense. But we do need to start having children now. Ooh. So this guy's a Zunist and they have sun worship, which can imprison people and send them to a sun trial. Now, we consider each other astray, so we don't hate each other. He borders me and we can marry her. She's 21, so we don't have to wait around for years having children. I think marrying these we're both like standouts in this region right people don't like us so could stick together so i think we marry nissan i think that is a good idea and straight away what we need to do we could ask her to convert she may just say no there we go she actually just converted that is good what we can do now though hopefully try and seduce her so we can just start having children as soon as we can because right now uh our heir is 55 and if we both die that is game over so we've got to be careful now for our lifestyle what would be best we have 19 stewardship so hmm, maybe we could do a little bit of playing tall and build this up because with cities of wonder three we could build our capital up to a megalopolis at level at a level seven castle so we can make anything good so there's no reason we don't have to keep this as our capital over time so maybe what we do then is go into stewardship and maybe oh, we've already got it professional workforce but i think we stick into stewardship and maybe just build tall 
a little bit earlier just so we can gain a little bit of power without having too many wars because troops wise we're not really beating anybody although with our new ally maybe could take some land off our neighbor here just so we can get a little bit of expanding because we do need to get much more powerful now from men at arms we do already start with some of yars which are very powerful. I love these men at arms. They're cheaper than armored footmen and honestly, a fair bit better as well. So these are really good. So we could build an army around them as well. Wait, challenge brought House Gurid. So this is Zahat, the only other living member. And he comes to our court to give his spurious logic for taking over as the leader of House Gurid. I am polite enough embracing him before the talk. He speaks on the history of our house from the days of Gershar Muhammad to the present, and I wait patiently for the crux of his argument. At long last it comes. Liege, you are yet young and inexperienced with much to learn. So it's my youth it is. Perhaps he is right. Is this unique to this house then? Because I have never had this. So he is offering, well, asking if he can become the head of the house. You're right, you should lead the house. Very well, but I'd like to remain in an advisory capacity. A worthy leader surely has the coin to back his word. Perhaps you could take over, but I want your guarantee. So we can take over, but we get a strong hook on him. Or no, I don't think so. I, I don't think we should give up the house head. We are more powerful than him, right? So I don't think giving him the house head would be a good idea. Yet he's older, but we are more powerful. So I think we're going to have to say no and just keep that. For ourselves i mean i don't think we're just gonna hand that over we do have two few spouses so we could actually maybe look for some more so we can have up to four in total but do we want any more right now hmm so we could marry this ruler's sibling he is the same faith as us so you know what we do need to get a lot of house members so i don't think Marrying a couple people is a bad idea because uh, we do need to start having as many children as we can so we can start sending them out for alliances or just start spreading our dynasty across the world so we don't just get wiped out really quick. Now for a claim, I don't want to expand too fast, but I wouldn't mind getting this guy's land before maybe the Taharids do. So I think we just give it a go and see if we can maybe pick up a claim on this guy's land. We do have the Conquer County thing. But if we can get a duchy claim and push that, that would save us an extra war. So I think we definitely do that. And I do want your opinions. Should we keep this as our capital for the full game? I mean, it's not great. It does actually have a special building though. The Minaret of Jam. This structure towers over the Hari River Valley, converted in stucco and glazed tile decorations and alternating bands of calligraphy, an exquisite monument to what faith and wealth can achieve even in these remote, rugged lands. See, I like that. So we could turn these remote, rugged lands into something great. I think maybe we do that. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, it's not a terrible... It's not It's not a great duchy, but we could maybe hold two. So let's get on with maybe just increasing development in our capital. Get our wife on managed domains as well. Control is all good. And maybe, let me know your opinions in the comments. Should we build this as our capital for the full game? Could be interesting. Of course, it's not great. Like, no farms and fields and stuff. But, I mean, it, it could be fun. But let's just see if we can pick up that duchy claim, but I've been made aware that Nissan is very close to her sister, Marzaban. Gaining her favor might help me catch Nissan's attention. Okay, so her sister-in-law is in our neighboring court, of course, where she uh, is from. But what can we do? Get her whatever she asks for. So she gets a weak hook on me and our scheme gets 20 uh, and our scheme gets 15% more chance or we pay her 50 gold. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a weak hook. There we go. So the next time we meet, his aunt offers me a wider smile than usual. My sister Zelikan told me how you helped her and I wanted to offer my thanks anything for a sister of Nissan's. So there we go. Hopefully start having some children soon please. Look at that. My, one of my wives has 14 stewardship. The other one has 15 and we have 24. So we are just made to have a lot of stewardship. Like right now, we only have two hour eight holdings though. So we could do with a little bit of expanding. But the fire roars. Drinks has been had and Yashaman is calling out to me for a story. My first thought is of a famous Tajik folktale. Classic that never fails to delight. On the other hand, what if I told a story of my own? Perhaps the time I married Nissan to your other wife. Um, I, I, I just got a feeling she wouldn't appreciate that, to be honest. Don't think that's the way to go about that. Ooh, but we have, we have 133 gold. I mean, do we want to build something, maybe? 
Oh, we have overworked tax collector. The hour is late, yet I can see a flicker of light coming from the next room. Where the door has been left ajar, I gently push the door open and find my ashwar. Zakaria with heavy eyes, bent over an open ledger. Another stack of ledgers standing next to him. He lifts his head and notices my presence. Oh, forgive me, my lord. But I have still to sort through these latest tax accounts. Allow me to help, okay? People like me more. Why don't you take a break? Or oh, good, my vassals expected taxes to be handled efficiently. You know what? Why not help? And what is our tax to do? We only have one vassal, of course. We may as well... For now, just put it on the cat. That gains us a little bit more taxes. Although, with one vassal, it seems to not make much of a difference. But you know what? A duchy claim would la would keep us vassals. So what I'm actually going to do... I'm going to start a conquer county claim. think that would be a good thing to do. I'm also going to upgrade these ERs one more size. Once they're built, maybe we just go for it. He doesn't have any allies. We could call ours. So we're picking up an extra county and then going to war for his other one. At least we could directly hold these because right now we're only holding two. So we're not making much money when we could be making a lot more. Oh, but what is this? Oh no, please don't attack me. This curious animal reminded me of you. I am certain it will bring you much joy. It has been given the name Merab, and I assure you, it's a ferret of great character. You can gain a ferret. Yes, I want a ferret. So we do have a mod called, I believe it's More Pet, I think. So we have a pet ferret. He's three years old. He's a male. His personality is aloof and his health is good. So we can set the roam free, but we need a keeper. Okay, so is there a new job for a keeper? I mean, maybe. We can, then we can let it roam free. I don't know what that's going to do, but let's see. More grandeur cares for all your pets, increasing their happiness. And it allows your player here to inherit your animals. Well, we need to make sure we always have somebody doing this job. So, uh, Bexizan... I'm going to butcher these names. I am sorry, but well done. You just got yourself a job. So now we can allow it to roam free. This will lead to them interacting more with the people and things in your court for good or for bad. Yes, let's do it. Wait, mother and father. Can you, if we have two, can you breed them? I don't really know how the mod works. It just sounded interesting. So I got it. So over time, we'll see what kind of pets we can get and what they get up to. But we can mint a new coinage. It is my right and responsibility to determine what coinage is to be used throughout all of Durid. The choices I make will determine how the coinage, and by extension my realm, is seen throughout the world. So we can mint silver coins, we get new silver coins minted, 5% development growth, mint gold coins imprinted with my own visage, 350 gold, or debase the coinage with inexpensive nickel. We gain 100 uh, stewardship lifestyle experience and there's a 99% chance we gain 50 gold and we still get the 5% more development. There we go, 50 gold, I will take that, definitely. But the celebrations had come to an end and the evening's entertainment seems to be over. When Nissan suggested a reading, a clerk soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Nissan. So what can we do? Something pious, let's be entertained, travel to Byzantium, that seems a bit far, or the perfect state would give us a chance to learn. You know what? Something pious. Her attention started slipping. While I am thinking of how to salvage the situation, my courtier Bexigan suddenly chimes in and asks, may I humbly suggest we read Travels to Byzantium instead. Oh, it was a box. So that's what she wanted. Okay, I thought we were going to travel there. And I was thinking, uh, I don't think that's the right time. But no, apparently that was fine. What we're going to do as well then, because we got the new silver coins, we're going to make one stack of onagers just so we can do a little bit of siege. And I think as well, pretty soon, we're going to start swaying this guy and try and make friends with him. We do need some powerful friends because otherwise... We are just going to get destroyed. Okay, so for the menagerie, the collection. My lord, I have a request. My keeper of the menagerie has asked to talk and we meet in the mostly empty menagerie. I can't help but notice that the menagerie feels a bit desolate. Do I have your leave to attempt to expand your collection of animals? A varied and extensive collection will reflect well on you. Yes. So yes, any animal you can find is fine. I want an animal that is awe-inspiring. Might fail and it will likely take some time. Yes, I want a crazy animal. Go find me one, please. But our onagers are almost built. So as soon as they're built, we go to war. Now she has picked up a claim, but I am just going to say no, actually. And instead, we're just going to use the Conquer Casa Spellize. That probably 
works best for me. So as soon as these are built, we're going to go for it. But my best friend, Abdullah, approaches with a big smile on his face. My dearest friend, we finally see each other. I feel like we never spend any quality time together lately. Maybe you'd be willing to try something new with me. I know just a thing to distract your mind, restore your body, and lift your spirits. What about a visit to the local market? Seeing other people busy while you were just leisurely strolling is quite cathartic. So you know what? Let's go do it. I don't know who you are. And um, we haven't had an event becoming best friends. So I guess we were just already best friends. Fair enough. Do you want to come to my court? No, he's somebody's player here. Ooh, that could be interesting then. If he takes that and we're best friends, maybe there's an alliance in there and they're, they're a little bit more powerful than us. So that could be, I mean, really good for us. Ooh, and there we go. Fate smiles upon me. My wife is pregnant. It is our secondary spouse, so it's not Nissan. But you know what? We'll take it. Well, there we go. Ooh, he's, oh, he's got an alliance with his vassal. That is fine. You know what? He is more powerful than us, but we do have the help of our allies. So I think let's go for it. Now, we have two choices. His capital has farms and fields. So really, we should go for his capital, right? And there's an extra county we could hold. So maybe these are the two duchies we build on because this has some farms and fields which will be very useful to just get an extra money. But it has farms and fields on a dry lands. I thought they could only... I didn't think they could be built on dry lands. But yeah, maybe then these two duchies is what we hold. So I think, start things out, our first war of probably many. So I am sorry, Amir Abd al-Rahim. It's got to be done. I mean, we're going to have plenty of wars later. We're going to raise our troops just a bit further back in our land. And what we are going to do is call our allies. We don't need them both. This guy should be enough. Pointless corner ally from up here because it'll take too long to come. Plus, it's a waste of prestige. There we go. So, the Zunists are on their way. Hopefully. There we go. He has raised his men. But we have my beloved wife. The servants have all been sent away and our bed has been decorated with seashells. As Nissan enters our chambers, she smiles pleasantly and joins me without hesitation. With the help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore. So, I believe, there we go. We have become lovers, and hopefully, that should mean she gets pregnant. Now, for Commander, we don't want either of us to inherit the only two living members of our dynasty, so we'll allow our marshal to command our army. That probably works best. Hopefully, this guy hurries up, comes up, and joins me, because he is sieging our capital right now. So we're going to start marching towards them. Hopefully our ally is quick behind us because we desperately need his help. Because yeah, we are going to start getting destroyed. Can he get involved quick enough? Just. That was close. The battle of gear. That could have gone either way. If our ally was just slightly slower, that wouldn't have worked. But we have captured somebody. Yep, we have captured his air in battle. So our first battle or our first war finishes in just five months. And we now personally hold this extra county. What I'm going to do then is start increasing the control of it. Development is going up very slow, even though it's only seven. So what we need to do is go into our culture, which we're not the head of anyway, and hopefully pretty soon. But there's nothing we can do until early medieval where we can pick up communal government, which increases the existing development penalty to start at 35. So we're going to have to deal with that for a while. Also, I did want to ask about the series as well. Do you want me to stay as this faith? And I believe in real life, they did convert to sunny Islam. Is that something you want me to do? Or should we stick to the Buddhism route? Maybe we create our own faith. Also, same thing about culture. Do we eventually convert to a different one or create our own? So stuff like that, let me know in the comments because um, yeah, I, I want some of your guys' ideas as well along the way. It, it's going to go on a while. So why is my his health is only now fine? Is there anything I can do? Like, is there a decision to do something with my pet? As you can see, there's a lot of decisions from um rice and stuff like that i don't see anything to do with my pet and because our uh, development is going up so slow oh it is of our culture actually we need to convert the faith in it so we are going to start converting faith in this county as well and the control will start going up and we can start getting some money from these farms and fields we can also build we can also build desert agriculture maybe some camelries we could get some camel riders in our army they could be very useful but we will once our truce is over pick up this extra county down by here as well we have low control in our capital so we'll we'll fix the control here then we'll add it back there as well we're making 2.3 gold a month which um is not great but there we go 
We have had a daughter and heir. So let's find a name I can actually pronounce. Fatima. There we go. I can definitely pronounce that, hopefully. <laughs> and this guy has a spouse now, so maybe he'll have some children. If not, we will also inherit the two counties off of him, which I wouldn't mind, to be honest. Oh, also, one thing I wanted to ask is, is there a specific direction you wanted me to go in the house unity? We could go all the way up to Harmonious which would get us really good succession and stuff, or go all the way down. I think either would work. Antagonistic would be more helpful because, I mean, we get unlimited kingdom level invasions. But Harmonious, I think we could land a lot of our family maybe over time and build like our empire out of our family. So let me know which direction you'd like to see me go on that. But now our Sadu scheme is up, I am going to start swaying the ruler of the Taharid Grand Amirate just to... um try and make friends with them they are fighting the safrids right now this is the war that starts at the start of the game and it is still going on so that's occupied both of them problem is as soon as they want to come for us they can which is going to cause us a lot of issues because there's no way we can stand up against them we do not have the army right now and we're not really close to getting it either which is just great but this guy is now involved in a war Ooh, does that mean this guy has sponsored a conquest against the taharids because he's involved in it and if they lose they will take this land which if they are busy fighting the safrids will probably happen so this guy is sponsoring conquest luckily it wasn't against me which actually i don't think you can do it because we're a detractor i don't think you can do it against detractors only supporters i think anyway like this guy's a detractor Oh, no, we can actually. So only detractors can do it against anybody, but supporters can't. Which I believe it makes most sense that we're a detractor. I don't see why we would support the caliphate. Like, it makes no sense for us. But so far, the Abbasids are going really strong. Now, for our lifestyle perks, what do we want? I think next we should pick up centralization so we get a little bit extra development growth. So if this is going to stay as our capital, we do want some pretty good development over here. Seven's not bad. And I think, I mean, by the time it's going to take us to conquer all the land we need, maybe we can max it out at 100. But I mean, we'll, we'll see. One thing I do want to see is if we have any courtiers in our court that we can maybe marry off to get like a court tutor for our children. Because I do want them to be like well educated. So if we look for a marriage for this guy by maybe some like trait. We're not going to marry into our family. But if there's like an intelligent or something. We could get her to teach our children. But sadly it doesn't seem like it helps. But I believe high learning does help with like child education. So if we do that she will now come join our court. And she, there we go. Look, she's a good court tutor. Learning skill plus 47. So we could do that. And what's good for wet nurse? I believe they could be quite helpful as well. I don't want to spend all my money. But wet nurse, caretaker of our children. But what actually affects aptitude? Good health. Uh, you know what? Maybe we don't need one of them. Maybe we just leave that out for now. And maybe later on we get one. Ooh, look at this guy as well. He is starting to expand. I mean, let's offer to join his war. I mean, he should win. But you know what? Let's go and help him. We'll raise our men. A marshal leading them as well. He helped me. So let's go and help him. We can go straight for the mountains beer as well. Doesn't need our help, but kind of wasting money. But you know what? Let's just go and help him. We'll, we'll do a siege for him at least. Ooh, the menagerie, the collection. So she brought forth a small white parrot. So is that, you know what? He is perfect. Take it to market. We get five. I want a parrot. Yes. How many animals can we get? Do I name it? We do. A honeycomb. You know what? Honeycomb the parrot. There we go. So when it says mothered father then, can we actually like... If we have two of the same pet, can they have children in that way? Oh no. Why is the why is the ferret so ill? It's only five. It's allowed to roam free. No idea. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Oh, he's in a battle. He is winning that battle. So you know what? Let's siege the never mind. I was gonna say, let's siege the capital, but nope, we can't do that. And look at that. He is also expanded. We are friends, and plus hundred opinion can be contributed to one of his wars. So you know what? I think that's worth it. But hopefully, I mean, he has some children soon. Because otherwise, his dynasty is... Does he have any other living members? He does have some other living members. But this guy's a ruler next to him in the Safrids, actually. That's what is... I don't know what it is to him. But yeah, it does have family spread out. But otherwise, it's just all going to go to him. And it'll become a vassal of the Safrids, I think. So let's hope that doesn't happen. But we need to work out where else we can expand. The Safrids won their war, as you can see. They've taken a massive chunk out of the Taharids. So... Maybe uh, instead of swaying the Taharids, we start swaying the Safrids and try and become friends with them because they are now a much bigger risk. Because once we take this county, we have a big border with them that 
they may kind of want eventually. And we're, ju we're just surrounded by way bigger kingdoms. We have our ally to our south, which is very helpful. But our best friend does now have the throne over here, though. So maybe at some point we could get an alliance with them. That would be pretty helpful. But I don't know which way we can really expand. That may be a problem eventually, uh, because there's not there's a lot of directions we can really go. But we have Honeycomb, Secret Revealed. My parrot Honeycomb lands beside me and starts rambling as he is wont to do. At first, I tune him out. But as soon as he starts repeating a name, the name of my wife, Nissan, Squawk, keeps seeing Squawk, keeping this secret, Squawk, heavy. Secret faith. Ooh, let's blackmail you. I want to find out what secret faith you have. Does it tell us which faith? She practices Zunism. Hmm, maybe that's a faith we could convert to. Our wife does it, so maybe that's something we could do, maybe. I don't know. I don't know loads about the faith, but I know it's quite a unique faith. Maybe that's something we could do. Plus, our best ally is of that faith. And hopefully at some point, I'd like to see if we could vassalize him. He is part of this kingdom, so it does seem quite unlikely that we can create that kingdom title with him almost owning it all. And we're kind of locked out of a kingdom title. That would be the best one, but... Our ally has it, mostly, so we can't exactly go and take that off of them. And the Kingdom of Taharid is going to be really tough to get. I mean, actually, he is massively weakened now. We do have a claim on one of the counties, but I don't know if that's the route I want to take. But oh no. Oh, I guess it's kind of good. Zahak has had a child, which I guess is good and bad. It's good that we have more dynasty members starting to appear now, but... It's bad because we could have just taken that land for ourselves. And to expand any more, we do have to wait another two years. Also, I guess at some point, we could maybe see if we could end the struggle. We do have Iranian heritage in our culture. So maybe that is something we could do along the way. But I don't know if we're going to expand quick enough to beat the concession ending. Because this ending it happens fairly fast. So it's quite difficult to end the struggle unless you're like fully focusing on just ending the struggle. So that could be a problem. Oh no. My ferret Mehab has been a source of companionship and wonder over the years, but he is not as young as he once was. And health has been alien as of late. As he crawls into my lap, I can feel him trembling. I gently stroke his brown fur and listen to his labored breaths long into the night. I listen to the soft sound he makes in his sleep. I listen to the ever lengthening pause between inhales. I listen to silence it didn't last very long but maybe that is just how long ferrets live till i guess maybe but you, you can see your past companions now resting for eternity i don't know if you can get like crazy animals maybe we can get a tiger that's what i want a big tiger or something in my court when we get a court that is what we need but a new stewardship lifestyle pick i think golden obligations and maybe it is my domain try and make some money early on these guys to our north are they going to be a problem they consider us evil fairly powerful but he is losing a sponsored conquest let's just hope uh we don't get a sponsored conquest but our daughter and player here, she's picked up pensive so stewardship or learning you know what i'm gonna go with stewardship and we should probably start educating it but i just noticed we can gift her a pet I mean, right now we only have one so i'm probably not gonna do that but i want to see if how long i want to get this truce over and done with so we can start making some good money so we're trying to sway a murty Amiran. While hosting the lords and ladies from realms near and far, some opportunists portray Amir-e Amiran in a good light have presented themselves. My lord, pray tell who is the most stately person you have heard of. So we can say him, he gains 10 opinion. You know what? We do need to become friends with him. Hopefully, that kind of makes it a bit less likely for him to try and attack me. Don't know if it works like that, but let's just hope. It does, but oh no, our parrot is a mess maker. As I enter the chambers, I am greeted by mayhem. Things are strewn everywhere and few things that aren't ripped are covered in feathers. Sleeping in the middle of the destruction is my parrot, Honeycomb. Sigh, I better clean this mess up. Honeycomb will no longer be allowed to roam freely. Seems a bit harsh. Or we can lose the parrot. No, we'll, we'll just clean it up. Now we have 80 gold. The control is still going up slowly. I want to see. There's not really much we can build for this, is it? No, but these look quite good. They do gain a little bit of extra gold and eventually development growth as well. So I think we should probably do that. Now for buildings, we can't build anything just now. We only have 80 gold, but we should probably get some barracks at some point because I do want to get a few stacks of these ARs and station them so barracks can help boost their damage quite a lot and maybe camelries in another county and also these things down the bottom because eventually they start getting you a lot of development growth which is something i do kind of want to focus on especially in our capital two duchies that we're going to try and hold i am worried about the safrids 
I don't really know what to do about them. And this guy is quite powerful as well. He has these tribesmen. Maybe... <sighs> Hmm, we do need to get a stronger army. We're only making 2.7 gold a month right now, though, especially with this control. Once this picks up, we'll start making a little bit more. We can maybe upgrade the farms and fields a little bit as well. But we have had our son and player here. We're not going to name him the same name. Let's see what we can get. Files in. You know what? Let's go with that. So we have files in now. So we're going to make sure... He is educated. And you know what? Because you are my player here, you can have Honeycomb. He gained 17 opinion of us. There we go. It's now his problem to look after a parrot at zero years old. So good luck with that. Oh, no. Damn. So the Safrids are going to war for Zunbil and they will take all of it. So we are going to have to get involved. I don't know if we can stop this. Even together, I think he's going to beat us. Now, he's also going to be leading his own armies, I believe. So aha, we can't even quickly go and capture him. How are we going to defend this? Sway scheme ends. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, ah, he's... Our one ally is going to lose all of his land and then we're fully going to be left surrounded. I mean, we do have another ally as well, but this is our important ally. What do we do? How can we defend this? I mean, we have an okay army. We're losing a lot of money, though, keeping it up. Our best bet is to stick together. I could lead the army, but I don't think it's worth dying. Different if it's our own land. Ooh, oh, they're right there. They're right there. We're going to get caught out, ain't we? We need to meet up with our allies. He's heading over there. You need to turn... Oh, we're not... We're going to get caught out straight away. I did not see them right there. I thought they would take some time. But they must have just raised right there, just about of our view, and just jumped straight in here. So, yeah, I think we're done. Unless we can just about get out in time. No, that is brutal. We just lost, like, our entire army. And now he's going to go and lose. So I think what we best do is actually... Go back into our land and maybe just head to his capital. See if we can maybe capture a hostage. Maybe a kid or something. Just don't get captured in that battle. They're on 50% war score now from battles. What we need to do is go around. We're going to head around and see if we can make it to his capital. We're going to take some attrition. But the only way we can win this, I think, is if we get lucky and maybe capture like a hostage. Maybe capture his kid or something like that. Don't even know where my allies' armies are. I don't know if he'd like... Yeah, he bait oh, there's 700 of them there. Do we win this battle? Oh my god, we're gonna get- Oh my god. <laughs> we're getting flanked from behind as well now. I think this this is done. Our ally is losing all of his land. Or at least he's gonna be a vassal of the Safrids. We've had another son though. So, uh, let's think of a name for this one. Uh, Naharun. Yeah, I'm sure that's how you say that. I think this is over though. Sadly, uh, their army is just too much. Our entire army has been wiped out. We have three soldiers left. There's nothing we can really do. So um, sadly, I mean, well, we could give it a go. If these rebuild, we will stand our armies back up. Oh, I think our marshal died as well. Or he's been imprisoned at least. So hmm, is there anything we can do? With much self-satisfied ceremony, my Ashwa slams a bulging sack down before me. Lucky bit. I empty its contents. Precious metal heirlooms and trinkets. I've convinced some of Zarhak's commoners, Grins, Zakira. Their tactics were meant for you, my liege. It's a decent win for and even better, I can just imagine the beady-eyed look of wrath on Marzoban's detestable face. We can gain 15 gold, but we get tyranny. Uh, I can justify this extraction. We gain 15 gold, 100 stewardship lifestyle experience, or we can return it. You know what? Let's take that gold. We are going to raise our men. We, we, we need to try and help him if we can. I do kind of want to do this, but right now he's up to 5,000 men. He is facing another war though, so maybe he's a bit preoccupied. Maybe we can do this. Oh no. There is a deep, endless hole in my heart. Abdullah was a constant companion and confidant. And to have him ripped from my life feels like a mortal wound from which I will never recover. My hand clasps some note he gave me. The last note he will ever give me. I realized bitterly I tried to read it. But all I can do is move it away from my face. That the precious words contained within are not washed away by my tears. I will never forget this day or I need to be strong and move forward. We do need to be strong and move forward. Let's go with that. But let's see. We are rebuilding our men at arms still. So we're just going to let them rebuild a little bit and see if we can do this. Although I think it's pretty much impossible. But we have our, our pet keeper now. Mud on her clothes and circles under her eyes. I don't know what pet she's been keeping. For me to prepare for any future animals and maintain the menagerie, I need funds. Um, 50 gold. Uh, right now we're kind of at war, so no. Uh, we're kind of busy trying to save our borders. Because if we lose this, 
We have no protection to our south. So we're going to let this rebuild hopefully soon and give it one more go. <gasps> Can we get a monkey? My lord, a guard approaching with a monkey in tow. I found this creature wandering in the garden. What should I do with it? I do have to admit that its yellow fur looks very soft. I'm taking the monkey. Trollspawn. That is a perfect name. Let's see. We have Trollspawn. The monkey. It's three years old. It's curious. It's yellow. We've got emerald eyes. I want to see. Can we get two monkeys then and breed? That's, I want to know. Does it seem... It seems like it's possible. Why else would it say mother and father? But our men at arms are fully built. Let's pick up war profit here. So we can make a little bit more money while at war. And I say, let's stop wasting time. We're going to take a little bit of attrition. Let's get down there and try and siege his capital. It's our only chance right now. So let's just go for it. Let's stop wasting time and see what we can do. You might not follow me, but you know what? We'll take the risk for you. And we've picked up... I don't say picked up another daughter. They don't just pick up daughters, but there we go. Mona. So right now, we have two daughters, two sons. We have Fatima, Farzin, our heir, Naharan, our other son, and Mona, our youngest daughter. But let's see... Can we pick up? I mean, maybe need, I could do with some help because we may run out of men and not end up with enough men to finish a siege over here. I don't think we're going to have enough men. We kind of need his support. Like he's standing there, which is not a bad tactic because the war score is going down. So maybe he can get a white piece. But if he sieges capital, is he going to go for me or him? He's going for him. So you need to run. Just don't lose another battle. We'll speed this up a little bit. He lost that battle. But if we can siege his capital, maybe we can save this. But we have Trollspawn, the gift giver. Two emerald eyes follow me as I cross the hallway and a quiet squeak breaks the silence as Trollspawn pay playfully pounces on my ankle. Can we get two gold? I'll take it. Can we siege this before they can siege that? Ooh, we sieged an iron dagger. Intrigue per stress level plus two. More prestige and scheme secrecy. Now, do you guys maybe want a white piece? Like that wouldn't be a bad idea if you kind of... On a white piece before they finish the siege. It's worth offering. We are currently winning, but as soon as they siege that, we are going to start losing. We may as well keep sieging then. Brow player Aaron's son also picks up pensive. So with him, I think we kind of push him towards the stewardship focus then. But if he just comes down here and help me, down 61% now. Nah, this is done. There's just not a lot we can really do to save this. I, I have tried, but it just doesn't seem to be working. And um, we didn't get any amazing captures. So we're down 96%. We can't win a battle. We may as well just keep siege in the area because why not? We got letter on the back passing through my court. I notice an unrecognized face approach me. My most thoughtful liege. I am Saman, former courtier of your chancellor. She asked me to present myself before you to partake in your court. She's also given me a letter of introduction that only you may read. Then she hands me an enclosed letter. After breaking the seal, the letter simply reads, Dear Suri, please assassinate the bearer of this letter. No? Welcome, I'm in poison here. Disregard this letter and accept her into my court. Um, or basically tell her to run. You can trick her into thinking she's dead. Um, yeah, she was tricked into thinking uh, she was dead. Yeah, that's good. I feel like if we murdered her, she'd be like, Hi, I know you murdered this person. We've got another daughter now. We are getting a lot of daughters. Uh, let's think of a name. Freeba, there we go. We've got a lot of children. I need to make sure they're all being educated. And yeah, so he is now... Oh, he's still there. But he's now a vassal of oh, his other family member, to be fair. So his other family members picked up a vassal. But he has converted. He hasn't yet. So hopefully he doesn't convert. We're still allies, but our borders are not safe. We do have his wife in prison. So what can we do about that? We have two of his wives in prison. 100 gold, 100 gold. <gasps> um, Yes, we are about to make a lot of money from this. So that war was definitely worth participating in. Even though we lost, we're just getting 200 gold after that war. So we're up to 310 gold, but for today, I'm going to leave that there. But remember, I do want some suggestions on other goals we could go for. Uh, House Unity, is down to competitive right now. And um, maybe our faith, our culture, kind of things you want to see along the way. And also any mod suggestions, especially ones that are safe to be added mid-game. But for today, I'm going to leave that there. So thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.